Ice fishing for trout is becoming more popular every single year. It doesn't matter if you're in the Rockies, doesn't matter if you're up in Canada, uh, doesn't matter if you're on the West Coast, lakes are becoming more and more popular to trout fish through the ice, partially because it's such a fun thing. Now, this episode of Potski Outdoors was filmed over about the last hour and a half of the day, and you can see it was a beautiful time out there. There were only a few other groups of anglers that were out there with us on this expedition. However, before we flew out, we wanted to hit one more lake and see what we could catch. First fish of the day on the jaw jacker. He had just hit it before and it's a nice little rainbow. rainbow. Nice job. Nice little baby. Nice little fish. Look how chunky he is. Got this absolutely beautiful high mountain rainbow here on the jaw jacker we had just gotten here on a fireball anise, chartreuse color. Every on the fish on came up, came in hot on the Garmin. Oh, it's nice cutty. Is it? Nice cutty, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, oh, nice cut. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude. Dude, come on. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Chris, uh, yeah, John, come here, I want to land it real quick. Wow, dude. That's a nice cutty right there, dude. That's a dang nice cutty, and he came in okay, hot. Okay, John. You want me to flip him? Yep, just lift, just get him right out of there when you can. Come on, come on, come on. Don't oh, John. I slipped him. There you go, there you go, there you go, right there. Yes. Yes. Baby. <laughs> we got an absolute beautiful high mountain cutthroat right here. He came in hot on the Garmin and he just absolutely annihilated a chartreuse and east fireball. Fishing eight feet of water right off this tree right here. And I mean, I just dropped this in here about, I don't know, two sec, about two minutes ago. I already had one come after it. Oh, yeah, that's and now I got another one in here already. Oh yeah, nice fish. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. Switched up to a glow jig when it's getting a little bit darker out. You know, try to get a little bit more glow out of that chartreuse. Another nice cutty. There it is. Another Dude, nice forcer cutty. grabs the cutty. Oh. Look at that. We got another beautiful cutthroat here. And what you can see is the difference in colors between these fish. He has very few spots. The other one we caught just a little while ago had a lot of spots. A lot of beautiful fish here. All right, we're up here in the high mountains fishing for cutthroat and rainbows. And with this little bit of darker color kind of coming in off of, with the sun going up behind the mountains, I've switched it up from a white marabou jig to a, to a small white jig head with a glow wax tail. And we've just been tipping that with a chartreuse and east fireball. And, and with, with those fish coming in like they have been with that little bit of a glow off of that extra chartreuse as well, They've really, really been crushing it down in about seven feet of water right off of a tree. It looks very natural under there. There you go, there's a fish. Got him on the garment coming right off the bottom. Like those other ones, he kind of just came in hot. What a nice little cutty right there. There we go. We're out here using this really nice, small little glow jig here from Rapala, and we're just tipping it with a chartreuse and fireball. Comes. Oh, it's a little largemouth. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we're fishing a trout pond. That was an unexpected surprise <laughs> after seeing some cutthroat move through and his bats came out. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for fishing a tree. <laughs> oh, there we go. You get a trout? Dude, come on. Another bat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm catching stuff, but. I mean, I come all the way to Montana to catch trout and cutthroats specifically. <laughs> and there's these little guys swimming yeah. around. From the college bass team to Montana bass yep. through the ice. Hey, these guys like fireballs just as much, huh? <laughs> so today I've been doing something a little bit different than Mitch. I've been going down with the uh, smaller approach with the pink tungsten fly. And I've been tipping it with pink shrimp fireballs. So I've been taking just one out of the can. Hands are a little frozen, so bear with me. Put it right on the hook so it kind of hides the hook when it's down there in the, de in the depths. And right there's what it looks like. You know, it doesn't matter where you're ice fishing anywhere uh, in North America, but when you have scenes like this at night when the sky clears, there's no clouds, it does get a little bit colder, but this is what it's about. Ice fishing at dusk, it's in search of that bite. 
for us today. That means a bite for trout, even though John somehow caught two bass. Um, just an incredible scene here up in the mountains where we're enjoying a little bit of ice fishing right at dusk. And these guys are ready to get another bite. There we go, fish on, baby. Oh, there we go. All right, Mitch has been on fire with cutthroat or cut bows, whatever they want to be. But here is the rainbow. Mitch thinks he has a good oh, yeah. one. This is a nice fish. This is a really nice fish. All right, all right. Really nice fish. I don't want him getting those trees though. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my Dodge. gosh. I may oh my need some gosh. help here, buddy. John's trying to get a double. Oh we'll call you if we need you, John. Goodness. Oh my gosh, that's right. Dude. He's gonna go into that tree. He, yep, that's what I'm scared about. You gotta be careful. Yep. Look, there's a tree right there, and that fish just took off bolting in oh towards that tree. Oh my goodness. We're still working. It's a big fish. It is a really big fish. Just absolutely crushed the chartreuse anise again on that glow jig. You're about to run out of chartreuse anise. Oh, there it is. There it is. I just John, saw it. John. He's just. Right now. We just. We need John. <laughs> Oh, we need to borrow your warm hands, John. Oh my, oh my gosh! Goodness. Oh my gosh! John, 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 oh my gosh! John, 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 look at the John, monster! John! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> All right, we got an absolute tank of a rainbow right here. Extremely pretty, absolute heck of a fight. He was just destroying my rod. And again, that glow jig with that chartreuse and these fireball. Time to get Big Pappy back in the water. See you next year, buddy. As you can see, the guys used similar baits today. They used the same baits we've been using all year through the ice. Mostly Rapala tungsten jigs and also Rapala glow ice jigs, all tipped with Potsky fireballs. You know, it was kind of interesting. The guys tried to use several different flavors and colors, and the trout only wanted two of them. They only wanted pink shrimp fireballs. You can actually see a bass come in here and eat one of the pink shrimp fireballs right underneath with the Markham camera that we were using. Now, most of the fish today came on chartreuse anise fireballs. The chartreuse anise, for some reason, has been just really the hot color of the year. Uh, part of me thinks the reason why is it's almost translucent in the water. You're tipping that jig with scent, the anise scent, and the color, the chartreuse color, seems to be almost translucent in the water, doesn't seem to bother the fish at all, and they just chomp away at it. Now. We also visited a couple other lakes while we were up in this area. You could see drone footage of other lakes that we kind of checked out and some lakes had a good bite, some lakes didn't have a good bite. There are other lakes, you can see Uncle Joe here catch a really nice rainbow uh, on the same setup with that tungsten fly with the chartreuse and these fireballs. And it just shows you to come that, you know what, it doesn't matter where you go. If these lakes are stocked in one way or another, whether it's by air, whether it's by a truck, whether it's by horseback, if there's trout in there, you can have a great time catching them through the ice. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.